I want to move on to Treasury Secretary sure. Steven Mnuchin because obviously he tried to calm the markets. He had this call with these banks. Uh, it didn't work. And, and, you know, the markets collapsed on Monday. I don't know what's going on right now, but we're losing all of the rally and the big name dragging us on the Dow once again is Goldman Sachs. So uh, should we be worried that Steven Mnuchin had to make this call? Was it a mistake? Because Treasury Secretary Baker did something very similar to this in 1987. Uh, and it didn't help, uh, and it helped create, the, I think, Black Monday. Look, Secretary Mnuchin is in constant contact with the financial community. He's friends with most of those folks. He himself operated in that space. And it's very normal for the Treasury Secretary to call people up uh, and say, hey, how's Christmas looking? You know, they've got credit card data. How, you know, how are sales but, but, going? But to say, and hey, also, do you guys do, have are you cash any on problems? hand for a run on the banks? I mean, was that the question? But, you know, I, I was I did not participate in the conversations, but it's extremely normal for the Treasury secretary to keep his finger on the pulse of financial markets. And, you know, right now, as you've mentioned, you know, markets have been quite volatile uh, and, and they've headed down what something like 8 percent over the last few weeks. And, and, and when something like that goes on, then it's absolutely natural for a Treasury secretary to call people up and say, hey, what are you seeing? Right. Is there something going on that, that you know, I should know about? Uh, and, and of course, what everybody said is what I just said to you is that, we, you know, they're looking at the data. Uh, things are very strong. Uh, sales are very strong and liquidity is there. And, and so, you know, I think that, that whether you can calm uh, markets or, or not at any given day is something that, you know, is, is yeah, a very, I, I very think difficult the psychology thing to say, right? Here, though, Kevin, uh, uh, let's be honest. But, the psychology is that make this call on Christmas, uh, you know, a couple of days from Christmas on a Sunday is felt like a sense of panic. President Trump, Mix, yeah. mix uh, our articles out there this morning on uh, how he feels about this call Mnuchin. Can you tell us if he's happy with Stephen Mnuchin right now? Oh, I, I'm highly confident that the president is very happy with Secretary Mnuchin. You know, I've met with them uh, together in the Oval many, many times, and they have a very collegial and productive working relationship. And, and so those stories are just false. What about some of the other market-centric things that we're seeing? For instance, uh, Susan Lee just shared a stat with us on the, the role of computers, uh, high-frequency trading algorithms. Again, you go back to, to Black Monday, and it was uh, the, what they call portfolio insurance. It wasn't portfolio insurance. It didn't work. It backfired in part because of computerized programming trading. It was a 300-page report, that uh, the Brady Report for Congress, that put most of the blame on these computerized trading programs. Here we are, fast forward this many years later, and they're still crushing the markets at times. Should there be some way to slow them down at all in your mind? Well, well, this is an issue that uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin is studying very closely. He's uh, spoken publicly about the fact that he is concerned that there might be uh, something there that needs to be attended to. Uh, but, you know, on the other side, having lots of liquidity in markets because there's a lot of trading going on is a good thing for people who want to trade. And, and so, you know, I look forward to seeing what uh, Mnuchin's team comes up with. It's there. a good thing for traders. What about the individual investor? This is what I don't get, Kevin. And I, President Trump ran as a man of the people. The forgotten man and woman in middle America. America. They also want to invest in the market because sure. they want to put kids through college. They want to buy a house one day. They want to retire, uh, you know, and have a few dreams come true. Is it fair for them to have to try to live in this environment where it's great for Wall Street to have these algorithms going crazy? Okay, a lot of people on Wall Street made money when the Dow got crushed on Monday, but the average person out there didn't. Right. Well, you know, the the only uh, tried and true strategy, and, and John Bogle is somebody who's talked about this for decades, is to buy and to hold. And that's, you know, that's what I've done my whole life. And that's what probably most of your listeners do as well. And, uh, you know, when you buy or when you sell, you want to know that there's liquidity in the market so that someone will transact with you. But I think that buying and holding is has been a proven strategy. It's worked going all the way back to the early 1800s. And that's the appropriate strategy. This moving in and moving out is not something that small investors should be uh, should be playing yeah, around. It's not that they want to, but let's be honest, it is tough. I mean, you know, you, you go in, you right. buy you buy Amazon at, uh, you know, 1700 and then a, a month later it's 1300 You're kind of like your, your gut is churning. It's, it's yes, The it pain is. is there. You can pull up a 100-year chart to try to assuage your own anxieties, but it's tough. It's really tough, and you wonder why. Why is the administration letting this happen? Why do they allow the big boys to do all this crazy Wild West stuff when I just want to get a piece of the action? You know, it's tough. Right. We know it's right. tough, right? Yeah, but, but, but in the end, if the economy grows and profits grow and dividends grow, then, you know, markets go along with it. And, and so there are a lot of day-to-day -day fluctuations or month-to-month -month fluctuations. But in the end, if the economy is growing at 3%, then that's very, very positive news uh, for markets going forward. Because and and it means quick, before that I let you go, you think, you think 3% is good for 2019 
Yeah, that's right. And we're looking at a 3% quarter now for Q4 because we're getting so much anecdotal information about a solid Christmas. Yeah, that, that retail sales, the group, uh, that group part, I think solidified yeah. your 3%. Kevin, you guys have done a great job. Uh, we you. appreciate it. I appreciate you coming on. There Thanks are some serious concerns Christmas. on Main Street, though, that, you know, I prefer that you guys address that than trying to go against the, you know, the, the boys on Wall Street doing that crazy trading stuff. Anyway, mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Thank you very yeah, much, Merry Kevin. Christmas. Yep, thanks. We'll see you again soon.